In 2018, my team and I built a car that took the world by storm. So what happens if you want a Tesla pickup truck and Tesla doesn't make them? Simone Gertz, who made her own Tesla truck. She took a Tesla Model 3, chopped it up, and she turned it into... Truckla. 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 Making the world's first functional Tesla pickup truck. That was kind of cool. We're good? Yeah. Oh, what's happened since then? Um, I guess I've just been using her as my daily car. I mean, she's a little bit rattly because the truck bed isn't welded in and uh, also she's not watertight. So if it starts raining in the middle of the night, I have to like run out in my pajamas and cover her. And um, yeah, the tailgate isn't working. But other than that, like she's great. Truckla is really, really good. This video is sponsored by VM. So like a lot of projects, I finished Truckla to 80% and then left the last 20% to rot in the back of the fridge. But we are finally scraping off that layer of mold and taking her up to Northern California where Marcos and Ross are gonna finish her. Yeah, I'm uh, leaving this one to the experts. There's not a lot of corrosion. Um, there's no like galvanic issues yeah. that are happening with the steel to the aluminum. The chassis is rigid, dimensions are holding, car track straight. All the stuff that you would hope for a, for a one-off build. I mean, props to 2018 us. Yeah. Doing a good job. So no terrible news, which is great news when you're dealing with custom cars. So Marcos and Ross got to work on designing and building the tailgate mechanism. And in the meantime, I'm heading to New York because seven years ago, Tesla released a video of an automated charging platform, but that was all we ever heard of it. And as much as Tesla is somewhat separate from the pile of minced megalomaniac meat that is Elon Musk, I feel like my trust in their capacity has been in a pretty steady free fall since this moment. Oh my God. Well. So if I want an automatic charger for Truckla, I'll just have to make my own. I'm heading to New York to meet with Elliot Horowitz, who is the founder of MongoDB, which is very impressive to anyone who knows what MongoDB is. His latest venture is called VM, and it's a platform that lets you program robots using any programming language you want. And if you've ever tried to program a robot and had to use some proprietary IDE with some proprietary programming language, you get how great that is. So like the Tesla version, is a, a snake. But you're thinking we should do more like a rover. Yeah, I'm thinking it's gonna be like a little thing on wheels and it drives up to the car and kind of just drives into the car. So it's got a Raspberry Pi running VM on it, just two motors, one motor controller. But the thing is that plugging in the charger requires a fair amount of force. And after some quick testing, it's clear that this rover will not be strong enough. It'd be like trying to stab a watermelon with a blade of grass. It's just not gonna work. <laughs> so after some back and forth with the geniuses at VM, and for the record, yes, I would call them that even if they were not the sponsors of this video, we landed on a linear actuator rover design that doesn't even look remotely sexual when you use it. So we have a couple of motor controllers for the base and the wheels um, and a bunch of motor controls for these mm -hmm. linear actuators. We have the cameras. It's all run by like a Raspberry Pi that's yeah, actually right. talking to VM? Yeah, actually we have two Raspberry Pis in there. Like the cheapest version would be having none of the linear actuators mm -hmm. really. You could just hard mount it to what your situation mm -hmm. is with yep. your car height and your environment and then just have the rover do all of the work. Yeah, yeah, right? I think so. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, this is way cooler and this isn't, I, I want it. But a lot of options for people who want to build their own. The robot was ready for Truckla. So now the question is if Truckla was ready for the robot. Back to LA. Heard you needed help picking up some lumber. Have you seen how good Truckla looks? So. Marcos did a bunch of detail work. He finally hashtag fixed the trim. Also, she got a tiny lift. Biggest thing though, is that the tailgate finally works. 
So before, if you wanted to open the tailgate, it was like an on-off type of situation. Like you had to take it completely off. But now, the amount of engineering that went into this is kind of crazy because the tailgate doesn't have the same geometry as a normal pickup truck, which means that it has to both come out and down to be flat and level with the truck bed. So we couldn't just put in like a normal hinge. And the way that Ross and Marco solved it was they put these drawer slides in under the truck bed. And it's actually really low bearing, so you can like sit on it and I can like have a bunch of tailgate parties with friends I don't have. In other news, the VM people are in town and we're finally gonna put together the whole automatic charger setup. So uh, yeah, just uh, over here picking up the broken promises of the car world. Let's head back to the workshop. Scraps is our recycling manager and she makes sure that we tear everything apart before we put it in the bins. For everybody who's concerned, I regularly monitor her poop to make sure that she just tears it apart and doesn't actually eat it. Unfortunately, today is one of few days that LA decided to leak from the sky. And while Truckla might be fairly watertight, Chargela is not, neither is Kamla or Simonla, but I have another workshop that we can use for today to try everything out. So far, we've been controlling the charger using a computer, but it has a camera and has been trained on a bunch of images of Tesla charge ports. So the big test is to see if it can plug itself in without any human hands involved. Do it. A confident approach. It's a bit more forward, please. More. Oh, I take that back. Come on, almost. So close. <laughs> oh, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> yeah! How easy is that? Oh, done. All right, now it's charging. Yeah? And in a few seconds, it'll try to uncharge itself. Okay. Bye. Simple as that. I mean, it fucking works, it did it. And we didn't technically have to just stand and watch it. We could have like thrown the keys to the car and gone and had a glass yeah. of whiskey or whatever people who enjoy automation do. It's doing great, I mean, I'll charge the car for you. Under very specific circumstances, it will. <laughs> And cut. Good job. Thanks again to VM for sponsoring this video and for building Chargela and for making a product that lowers the barrier of entry for robotics. That's it for Trekla and Chargela for today. Trekla still needs some work done. Like she's a 10, but she needs a bed liner for waterproofing and also some body work. And as for Chargela, she's all open source. So if you want to make your own version, you can go on the VM website. They have all the code and resources that you need there. And also a bunch of other project demos and rovers that you can control remotely. So uh, go check that out. Okay, bye.
I'm trying to score some coolness points, but also play it safe, so we're going really, really slowly. I hope you have a good day.